Hey guys, this is Bostic Logic coming to you with a new video, which I haven't did in a long time, of Transformers, and we're going to have Optimus Prime, Prime 1 Edition, versus Optimus Prime, Sideshow Collectors Edition. Now, um, I know that these are basically on two different levels, literally. Uh, Prime One's got its own, its own level, of course, and then you got your Sideshow, which is on another level. Um, and I physically have them on two levels. Now, I know that you guys maybe want me to have these on on the same level that way you can actually see the difference but this is just kind of a pretty much kind of a off-the-cuff video that I'm going to do comparing the two now if you want me to do a, another video that is actually uh, on this on another uh, on the same type pedestal that I have the prime one on I definitely could do that for you just let me know in the comments below but uh, without further ado, um, well, first of all, I wanted to show you uh, there is a piece that I have that I actually got off eBay. And this piece is a 1984 jigsaw puzzle that I actually found on eBay for cheap. And I custom framed it at Michaels and it came out absolutely spectacular. I don't know if you guys are into the G1 Transformers, but I am. I'm an old I'm an old school guy and I absolutely love that uh love that puzzle. Um it's a beautiful puzzle. Of course they don't make them no more. They're very very hard to find. So if you like that, you know, you might want to check on eBay to see if you can find one. So basically back to the the comparison at hand. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at the sideshow piece. And honestly, um, I love both of them. Both of them have their own uh, their own way, their own look about them. Uh, one thing I do like about the uh, sideshow is the pose. It's more of a diorama, I guess the maquette, like they say, of an action pose, and I like that. I really, really, really do like that. Um, it actually shows prime in action. So that's one positive that I do like about this statue, among other things. And we're going to go to the prime one. I want to try to get you guys just so you can see both the prime one. And... I love his pose. I'm not really too uh, fond with it. His pose is kind of bland. It's kind of blah. You know, you have a s uh, statue of this magnitude, but yet you actually give it kind of like a standstill pose. I would have preferred it in the action pose, but this, nonetheless, the statue is still absolutely outstanding. Now, I know that you guys have seen a lot of videos already of both of these but I want to try to give you more so a video that actually captures both of them on the same screen um, I, I got a really good deal on this one and just kind of a side note I actually got this for like 800 bucks on eBay basically what uh, the reason why I got it is cheap price is because the guy didn't have the box to it and I guess he knew already that he was kind of basically ice skating uphill and he knew that you know it was probably going to be hard sales so he we, we worked something out and I ended up getting a good deal on it but um, uh, me not having a box I'm not trying to sell this and I knew that I wasn't going to be selling that so it, w it wouldn't have been a problem uh, so that's a kind of a plus on my end. Uh, I guess in the, if I ever move or anything like that, you know, that may be a slight problem, but I'm sure I can actually pack it up really nice. Anyway, back to the, back to the situation at hand. Um, okay, you guys probably want to know what I think about both of them. In a nutshell, I'm going to give you the skinny on, on my, uh, the comparison. Now, as far as if I had to do scale of 1 to 10 for both, I would give my the sideshow 
Optimus Prime, I would give it an 8.5. And you're probably like, man, why would you give this statue 8.5? Well, one thing is that the base. The base is the base is light, like real light, like loaf of bread light is light. And I don't like that. I'm like, if you're going to actually make a statue's magnitude, why have a hollow base? I don't like that, you know? And uh, that's something that I don't, I, don't, I don't like. And it's not just this statue, but it's just other sideshow statues in general. I don't like the hollow base. You know, uh, it just shows that, it is, you know, well, we're going to focus on the statue and skimp on the base. But other than that, uh, I think this statue is really, really great. Now, before the Prime 1 came out, I would have probably gave this a 9.5. Simply the fact because you have nothing to compare it to. You have nothing to compare it to. So you're like, oh, wow, it's, it's beautiful. But then, like, take a look at this, like, take a look at this upper part of his torso right here. And then we're gonna go over here, take a look at Prime One's upper part of his torso. See the level of detail, the the, the level of detail in that, you know, in that uh, in that torso with the paint, and it's just even with the chrome accents, you know, it's it's really. Uh, let's go back over here. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good, but it just, the level of detail there is just, it's just a lot better, a lot cleaner. Um, let's go with the mid in his mid torso. Oops, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here. So we got it here. And that's what that's looking like there. Then we're going to go over here. And that's what that's looking like there. You know, so it's, that's really like, I wouldn't say night and day, but it just shows the level of difference that you have on the, on the, uh, on the, on the statues here. Um, so, I mean, look, we could look at the feet. Now, the feet, I would have to say, are pretty much somewhat close, somewhat, but there you again, see you have that. All the extra features there, the oxidation and so forth there. Eh, that's, uh, no, you don't get the oxidation there. You get that metallic look, but you do not get the oxidation effects there like that. But it's still good. Um, so, you know, guys, um, I would definitely, like I said, I would give it a, uh, a 8.5. Now, on the other hand, I would give the Prime 1 a 9.5. And I'm sure that you know for obvious reasons the, uh, why I would. But you'd be like, well, why wouldn't you give it a 10? And I'm about to tell you. I would not give it a 10 because I'm a die-cast guy. I feel that if you're paying this type of money... I mean, dang near the you know the price of a of a freaking Hyundai, uh, a used Hyundai. You know, you should be getting some die casts. You know, a lot of this stuff should be metal, not plastic. You know, so. But other than that, this statue. I mean, these statues are absolutely beautiful. I'll be keeping these. I will never be getting rid of these. This is something that you just don't get rid of. This is a child. I mean, these are childhood. You know dreams kind of come to fruition with these statues and it's just something that you just don't get rid of ever you know you keep these you know locked away and you know but anyway guys just want to kind of give you an overview of the sideshow versus prime one both of them are winners in my book uh you can't have one without having the other if you're if if you're a true uh Transformers fan, you definitely want to get your uh as they say in the Navy, get your beaters on uh get your beaters on these two. So um definitely something that I would recommend for anyone who is uh a Transformers fan 
or anyone that who's an inspiring Transformers fan, you definitely want to get these. So anyway, guys, just kind of wanted to um, give you an overview of the statues. And if you like the video, hit it with a thumbs up. If you dislike it or there's something that you want me to change or maybe you want me to do next, you know, hit it with a thumbs down. So uh, if you have any questions, guys, leave a comment. Thank you.